Here you are, Gringo. Take a drink. It's the last of the water. Pour it. Behind. Oh. Consider yourself lucky. Oh, yeah. You could have been shot in front. Front or back. It's damn painful. Idea. Got a better idea? We board that train or we're never going to get away from here. It's like a miracle to get us on that train, and you know it. It's simple, Gringo. They keep the trains in the stations at night. The hills are full of bandits. We just follow the tracks, see our chance, and... What did I do to deserve you, Luca? You're nothing but bad luck. You make my heart bleed, Gringo. Okay, we better get on our way. Yeah. <laughs> Wata Panejo. Si Watanejo. You been learning to read? Senor, but there are no more tickets here. There's got to be some tickets. A pity, senor. It's the revolution. Might try the scalp, eh? Say, so look, can you uh, put us in touch? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't pull any tricks. Yeah, you worry a lot. Come on. <laughs> this way.
Don Pedro Arista at your service. <laughs> well, gringo, we're making a little progress now, huh? Two third-class tickets to Durango, huh? Uh -huh. Durango, Durango, third class. That'll be 20 pesos. 20 pesos? Where are we going to find 20 pesos? Ah. You brought the horses. They're scrawny, but you could sell them. <laughs> no, no, there they are. <laughs> I see, I see. Ain't no better horses this side of the Rio. <laughs> nice, ain't they? You got teeth as strong as an ox, see? Nice, healthy animals. <laughs> Take hardly no feeding at all. <laughs> see their eyes? <laughs> what did I tell you? A real bargain. All right. And no fooling. <laughs> there you what are. You? 20 pesos, you must be kidding. They're broken down there. Why? It doesn't matter, Chris. 20 is all we need. Mm. Okay, give us the tickets. Here's your money. No good. I'm sorry, senor. I'm mm. afraid the price has gone up. There's a revolution. There are many requests for Durango. Mm -hmm. Holy... <laughs> These are bad days. The prices rise. <laughs> it's the revolution. <sighs> well, what do you say? 20 pesos. Well, these are good pistols. That's if you throw in the holsters. Uh -huh. What use are they to us? Train to catch Gringo. Come on. Here's the extra. Do we get the tickets? A pretty trinket, senor. Ah. <laughs> Have a pleasant journey, senores. Vulture. <laughs> What are you staring at? That little bird? Oh, no. I was looking at those fellas. They're Americans, like me. You're some American gringo, dressed in rags. Third class down there. Down there? We had it in Guatemala. Amigo, going to Guatemala was your idea. I just followed your lead, that's all. You blockhead. You began the whole thing, didn't you? Uh -huh. You said there was platinum in Guatemala. Well? And I said, okay, let's go. So anyone can make a mistake. Ah, forget it, kid. We're gonna strike it in Texas. <laughs> you go alone. I'm staying on here. You calling it quits, gringo, huh? Mm. If you had nothing to nothing, you get peanuts. Mm. I got nothing against you, personally. Yeah. I just don't want to spend my time on a lot of wild goose chases. I can't force you, kid. I'll go to Texas on my own. Do what you think is best. <laughs> Might just go to Texas, but not with you, Luca. Yeah. I want to smell clean again, see? I want to hold up my head. Uh -huh. So you got a smoke on you? <laughs> smoke? <laughs> I even smoked my socks.
Man. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Pretty hills. You like the Sierra, huh? Very pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. <laughs> Texas? Louisiana? Uh, Colorado? Oh, oh. Bad spot for a bullet wound. <laughs> Gotta blow the belt, see? <laughs> I'm an American. Pleased to meet you. Nice to see fellow Americans in a foreign country. No. Oh, yeah. Guatemala, that's where I found... Yeah, I found a lot. Yeah. Would you like a cigar? Thank you, ma'am. Please sit down. A fine cigar. They don't come so good or anything else in Guatemala. Depends. You can get anything in any part of the world, I think, if your eyes are open. They were rather rude, those two men. Yeah. But anyhow, I found you. <laughs> American? Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm French, not American. Oh. You're really in bad shape. You, you mean it shows? Oh, by the odor alone. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay here. I've become used to strong odors in Mexico. Smart girl like you would get out of here. It's bad country. Plenty of banditos around here. I don't intend to leave. Mexico's a country that's exciting and interesting. Uh, no, it's pretty risky. It's my profession to take risks and everything that happens of interest. In Mexico, what interests you? Oh, Pancho Villa, for example. <coughs> uh, listen to this lady. You're heading for trouble. Pancho Villa's the big guy of the revolution in this country. And this train's packed with soldiers. As a journalist, I'm usually aware of what's going on about me. Those two men you talked to, did you know they were representatives of a munitions factory in the States that furnished guns to Porfirio Diaz? They wanted gold. There's a large safe packed with gold traveling with us. Where are you going, amigo? I'm going outside. It's kind of hot in here. Thank you, Pine. No passengers here. Let's go. Amigo, why are you in such a hurry?
Come in the other window. This is hardly the time to play games. Let me go. You're mistaken. I know this is not the time to play games. If you don't get down, you'll be killed. Why are you bothering about me? Well... Hold your horses, can't you? Long live the revolution! But he said long live the revolution! With all this noise, who can hear anything? Mexico, everyone's a general. Andale, muchachos, andale. Should have known you'd get it, huh? You got one too. You robbing corpses now? You know what it is, huh? I do. Do you? <laughs> I guess we're in business again, Gringo. Equal partners.
water, please. I think you will agree that such an outrage cannot really be tolerated. So if you will furnish me with an escort to Mexico City, I'll talk directly to General Porfirio Diaz. But, sir, I can assure you, these men were not revolutionaries. The train was attacked by bandits. A report would bring about loss of my rank. The devil with your rank. By all that's holy, an American citizen should be respected in this country. All my worldly goods were robbed on that train. I just want to return to the United States with dignity and pride. Now, please try to be controlled. I promise we'll do the best that we can. But when? Immediately. Uh, you want me to sign a receipt? No, senor, it's not necessary. My contribution, shall we say, to the brave general uh, Porfirio Diaz. Thank you. How much, Gringo, huh? Fifty pesos. <laughs> a couple of suckers like that and we'd be in good shape, huh? Let's have a drink. Patience, friend. We need the dough for other things. Mm. What do you think it costs to get information here? For half a peso, a man will sell you his soul. <laughs> and for his daughter? Oh, no, no, Gringo. Just take his soul. Huh? Come on, come on. Oh, uh, let me do the talking. These are my people, and I understand their psychology. Buenos dias. Dos, eh? Muy bien. Gringos are too delicate. <laughs> Saludos, amigo. Drink. You mule drivers get to see a lot of things around the mountains, huh? A man wants to stay alive, he keeps his mouth shut. <laughs> But a smart man also knows when to speak, and he knows, of course, when not to speak. Savvy? You, for example, could do the chief a great favor by bringing that um, Kringu over there to him. That hombre will pay mucho if he gets his girlfriend returned. The one uh, from the train, the bandits, uh, the patriots took away. He's willing to pay mucho. Muchos pesos. The chief would like to see this gringo. You know where I can find the chief? Huh? Sure you do. You'll do the chief this little favor. Huh? <laughs> bueno. <laughs> You had to go and get it drunk. I'm to blame if he can't hold his liquor. Wake up, amigo. Now listen here, you already took the money. <laughs> bueno, the chief's gonna be real proud of you. You'll see. Let's go. I know just the man you want to see. Where do we find him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come.
Ah, perfect. There's your man, he knows everything. about the psychology of your people, huh? But I can make a mistake. I can't always be perfect. Besides, these men are animals. <laughs> Move, amigo, into the room. <laughs> Sit down. You want to speak to the chief? Uh, with your permission. May I? No. And why should the chief want to speak to you? Uh, a business matter to discuss. Shut up, pig! No one asks you! <laughs> it's a proposition that's important, I think. What proposition? Um... Uh, the safe, for instance. What do you know of the safe, Gringo? Nothing. Only you can't open it because you haven't got the keys. So it's you that have the keys. No! Quiet, that idiot! Oh. Bring us both to the chief and we'll open it, see? Huh? Hmm, there's an interesting little group. Swallow it. Swallow what? The key. Sleeps like a rock, huh? Shh. Well, look at him. You two get down. Huh? On the ground. And stay there. Nice to meet you. Uh, sorry. Sit down. I never did like tall people. Told you want to see me. Oh. Besides, kid. What are you doing here, anyway? Your men brought us to this place. You were brought because you wanted to speak to me, and you? Oh, I just came along with him, that's all. Uh, it's his fiance. <laughs> huh? The girl who was on the train. Your men kidnapped her, you know who I mean. <laughs> I never touch women. Then who kidnapped her? Uh, that pig Araclio. He's a big man with the women. <laughs> Silly ass. But, uh, you see, we came prepared to pay to take her away with us, <laughs> to make a deal. We'll pay and go. <laughs> Much gold? Half the gold in the large safe. What safe's that? The big safe you took from the train. Uh, and you need the keys that will unlock it. We've got the key. So please be nice. <laughs> 
safe was taken by Lobo, the pretty girl by Heraclio. But now I hold the ace of my sleeve. Oh, oh, I swear to you on my mother's head, I couldn't give you the keys even if I wanted to. I couldn't, I, I swear it. Why not? Oh. Because, because, because I uh, put the keys. Uh. Don't tell him, Luca. So you won't talk, huh? We'll see about that. If this goes on much more, they'll have the key. Yeah, if it goes on, they will have mine too. If you murder us, you'll never open his safe. I'll be kind enough to dig them out. They must be awfully hot. I must say, a little sweat never hurt anybody. It's beneficial. I take a Turkish bath whenever I can. Very invigorating. I'll murder you. <laughs> Take it easy, friends. Violence never resolves anything. Now, if you two men had a misunderstanding, just talk it over. Let reason prevail. What business is it of yours? What the devil are you button in for, anyway? I detest your inference. To answer your question, my name is Brown, and I suffer from insomnia. And I never mind my own business. It's a matter of principle, you see. All right. Tell me, what's your problem? It's none of your business. Mister, are you going to tell me where Lobo is or not? Now, man. Are you? I don't know. Now, hold your horses. Hold on. Why don't you try to interest him in that affair? Hmm? Huh? Okay. Fifty percent you turned down. Now you'll get ten percent of the gold for showing us where Lobo is. I accept. You give me twenty. I help you to attack Lobo in his mountain headquarters. Lend huh? it. <laughs> You see, things do work out when two men talk like human beings. May I congratulate you both? <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Your gun, I believe. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going. Saludos. Muchas gracias. <laughs> well, Luca? I'm afraid uh, no luck on the key yet. You better prepare to visit Lobo. Get your horses ready. On the way. We ride against Lobo. <laughs> the men stay behind, Chief. Only the three of us. We go. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> see, si, see. Si. Seems I made a mistake. I'm going along with them to see Lobo. And muchachos, sir. Eh? Stay behind. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Chief. You sure this is the way to Lobo? It's the way to Lobo. But it all looks alike to me. You're mistaken, Gringo. You see it all alike. Hey, there's a cloud of dust. We're being followed. I'd say there were at least 20 riders. Much less. Oh, 12, I guess. I expect they won't attack by daylight. But what do you suppose they're after, huh? It's just this old buzzard's men after the keys. No, you're wrong, Gringo. They just want their back pay. <laughs> <laughs> you better get to sleep. I'll stand guard. Not on your life, because the last time you stood guard, we were cleaned out. You're an eagle eye. I remember they took the gold out of your teeth without waking you. I had to play that or they'd have killed me. All right. I'll sleep. You watch. Yeah, now you're making sense. these dirty rats. I want you. So what do we do now, huh? See a thing. You always say that, but this time you hit him between the eyes. I always hit him between the eyes.
gone now, fellas. The danger's over. <laughs> go on, go on. That's what I'd call a rather exciting evening. Well, you're entitled to an opinion. Where the devil did you come from, anyway? I'd say it was fortunate for you, my coming along. <laughs> Guess I saved your lives again. It's a complex. I simply can't mind my own business. Fine, but now that the chief is dead, how do we get to Lobo? Yeah. Well, maybe I can help you out again, my friend. Pretty machine. What's the horsepower? 20. Mighty good little car, huh? Ah, oh, here it is. This is the map from the Automobile Club. Now, let's see. The chief took this direction. He was trying to reach these mountains. There's only one habitable place there. A little village called Ciento Suelos, which means a hundred puddles. That's where you're sure to find El Lobo. It's an abandoned village, you see, and I suggest you look for El Lobo there. I'm quite sure you won't have any problem finding the trail. Hmm. Now you're advising us how to run our own affairs. I guess so, but there'll be no charge. We'll do it our way, if you don't mind. Uh, just a minute, sir. Is he to the northwest, uh, that way? Yes, to the northwest. Ah. That way. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, that's all. Don't bet on it, Luca. The man's just friendly. What was the name of that abandoned village? <laughs> I'm fed up, Lobo. Let's divide the booty and call it quits. Huh? Are you crazy or something? If we don't open a safe, there ain't no booty. Look, I'll make a deal with you. You can have the safe and let me take the girl, okay? No. You know the agreement. The chief doesn't get a single peso, but everything we will divide between us. Do you want me to go back on my word? What do you suggest, huh? That we stick in these rats' nests for the rest of our lives? When Lobo gives a solemn promise, he doesn't go back on it. You know that. When you have your share of the gold, you can pay a small ransom for the girl, and then you can take her out of here. Look, I've got what? it. What, what have you got? Use the cannon. Use the cannon for what? Perhaps we can open it with a cannon. Sure thing. It's a great idea. Gonzalez? Um. <laughs> Gonzalez? Present? The Lobo wants to see you. Come on. What have I done wrong? You are with Porfirio Diaz. Oh, that was long ago. And anyway, I desert. Yes or no? Proud to say I was. I belong to the best battalion under the command of General Porfirio Diaz. Vamos. Come on. Sure. I'm coming, I'm coming. Looks like they just now put the safe against the wall. Suppose they're going to try again? I don't read minds, you know. that man who took the girl. Let me see. Ah. Now, isn't that a pretty gal? It's up to you. You make it work, eh? Don't know if 
I can. You better listen, you idiot. You're gonna make it work, see? All you gotta do is fire it. Just mm -hmm. aim and shoot. And shoot straight. You understand? Uh, now, don't make me lose my temper. I'm the lay. Yeah, but if I open the safe like you want, I gotta have a new rank. A new, a new rank. rank? I'm a colonel. Stop yet. You'll have your rank. But if you don't succeed, you're gonna get a bullet right through your stupid head. I don't think so. Very pleased. We found these two men up on the hill. They want to join us. Well, the truth is, we've been looking for you because we'd like to join your yeah. band. Isn't that so? <laughs> nah, shoot them. Wait. Wait a minute. Look at us good. We're not hombres you just take out and kill. Give me one good reason. Well, first, it'd be a great honor. You've not heard us, I guess. This one has quite a record, Lobo. He's an intimate friend of Pancho Villa. The two of them stole more cattle than anybody in Texas. <laughs> yeah, and he attacked 14 trains in the past two years. <laughs> An intimate friend of the father's. Oh, well. A real <laughs> scoundrel. <laughs> I'm still wondering how you found me. Huh? Well, in certain places, they know these things. You're too modest. You're famous, Lobo. I suppose I am. Your attack on the train was an example of great strategy. See, <laughs> <laughs> see. Si, si. <laughs> but why do you want to join up with me? Well, I'll tell you frankly, the revolution is splendid, but I like money. And that goes for me, too. I like the same thing. That's enough! I'm not feeble-minded, and I don't want a lot of dead weight packing along with us. I got an idea. Suppose we put these men through the test we use in the old days. How about it? Bueno. Si, uh, bueno. There's an old custom in this band that we always found amusing. I think it would be nice if we play this little game once more. Everyone runs to the risk, but the only one who dies is the coward who's afraid of death. Oh, oh, but with two such brave ones like you, there's nothing to worry. <laughs> Don't you agree? <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Let's get out of here. These hombres are so drunk, anything could happen. I advise you to relax. It was your idea to join this band of Mexicans, boy, and we're gonna stick it out, understand? Amigos, I propose that all of us drink a toast to these courageous men who are joining today with us. Gracias, gracias. I'm positive that I shot you. 
No. But if you shot me, I'd be dead, because I know your aim is infallible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Lobo, amigo mio, I'm bored here. Pulling out tomorrow morning. No offense. I'm joining up with Zapata. And the safe? It's all yours, and all of the gold inside it. Except that I want the girl. Bueno? Bueno, you amaze me, little brother. <laughs> it's men like you who die like the hero. How about a toast to brave Heraclio who leaves us for the revolution and Zapata? <laughs> Silencio! Silencio! The time has come to play our little game. Get rid of your guns. And clear the table. Muchachos! Now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve? How come we're only twelve? We're supposed to be thirteen. Someone's not here. Who's the dirty coward? Aquilino. Why isn't he here with us? You had him shot yesterday. Oh, yeah, I forgot. How can we play the game? We have no more officers. Promote Gonzalez. How's that for an idea? That'll give us 13. After all, he did fire the cannon. Eh. But isn't it bad luck to have 13? Huh? Because it's bad luck, someone's sure to catch it. <laughs> Everybody puts his arms around each other at the table. So tightly closed, nothing goes through. Psst, not even a bullet. We put out the lights. I fling a loaded revolver into the air. We put the lights on again, and there's only 12 of us. Don't you think that's very funny, eh? It's so funny I could die. Oh, right? yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm sure I took a shot at you once. I know it. You're just confusing one face with mm -mm. another, that's all. Oh, oh here, here's Gonzalez. Ah, <laughs> here you are, Coronel Gonzalez. <laughs> you are a brave man, Gonzalez. You deserve to receive the honor of participating in our gallant circle of death. The honor overwhelms me, but I'm not really an officer, my general, so I'll be going. Where are you going? Come back. You. Tell me, what is your rank? I am a colonel general. Hmm. You just lost your rank. But why? What have I done? Nothing. That's why you're downgraded. Here we are, Gonzalez. Now, this makes both of you capitans. Now, let's not waste any more time. Sit down and let's yes, get sir. on with the game. Right away, general. Sit here. Me, I had to be an officer. Pistol's fine, I'm sure. Mind you, I don't mean any offense, Lobo. What guarantees that in the dark you don't take a pot shot at someone? But you'll hear the thump of the pistol as it falls on the table. Keep in mind that the man who dies is the man who's afraid. But, uh, Vamos, prepare yourself. Blow it out! Light the candle. Over, Captain. No harm done. <laughs> 
Compañeros. Capitan Gonzalez has just met death like a hero, in the spirit of honor. Now we'll show respect and pride with a toast. Or two or three. Chamaquitas! <laughs> members of our band. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what are you waiting for? What's the matter with you men anyway, huh? Why don't you take away that stinky carcass? Don't trouble yourselves. We'll do it. <laughs> Leave it to us. Why is the dead man always heavier than one who is alive? Come on, let's go. Okay. Did you recover your key? Some time ago. And yours? Sure. Well, let's make a deal, huh? Let me take the gold, and the pretty girl is yours. Huh? Uh, well, first we have to get the gold. There it is, it's ours. <laughs> hey, he's the man I shot on the train. Manuel Garcia, vamos! Here they are! Oh, the horses! Don't you think it was a bit foolish to leave all that gold to Lobo? But I've got what I want. You and the revolution. The two most important things to my heart. I see. But still I'm thinking of that safe full of gold. Cigarette case. Looks like it could bring good luck to the person who has it. He's very pretty. Here, take it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. I'm sure it will. Did you see that? She immediately understood. Well, that's a big help. Where do we go from here? She knows that we're here, nearby. She obviously knows we know. It's all much simpler, Luca, huh? If you want my opinion, she doesn't care if we're near or not. The only one it's simple for is the man she's gone off with. <laughs> she won't uh, stay with him. Well, yeah. She's <laughs> not that kind, you imbecile. You want to make something out of her, amigo? Luca, you're just a fool. The girl was taken against her will, and you know <laughs> it. Amigo, you just lost your head over her. Admit it. Oh, well, so what? <laughs> Come on. Come on! <laughs>
Et mes genoux sont ronds Et mes yeux sont fripons La 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 What are you doing in here? My beloved. I love you. I want you. <coughs> I'm mad about wildcat chicas. Let's see you do it again. You want another, huh? No! Oh. I found something you lost in the pack. Something you stole from me, it would seem. Uh, a reminder of you. I swear it on what is most dear to me. It's really all right. It's nice to see you again, Gringo. Nice to see you, darling. Just a minute, friend. Don't tell me you came here only for me. Oh. Well, well, I must admit it was love at the first cigar. <laughs> and Luca came here, too, because of me? Or for love of the gold in that large safe. Uh, safe? What do you mean? The one that was on our train. Don't pretend you don't know about it. Oh, but I'm not after the gold. Oh, I'm after other things. Fine ranch in Montana. Lots of babies, bulls in the pasture, cows. No. <laughs> what is speech, amigo? <laughs> you don't want the gold, huh? <laughs> Well, gold is very nice. Uh. Sure, it could be useful. It would come in real handy. What do you really want, the gold or me? <laughs> to have both is what he wants. <laughs> me, I want only the gold. <laughs> it won't be easy to get the gold from the safe with Lobo's men about. Oh, but we brought the keys. Somebody left them on the train at <laughs> uh. I mean it. It was those two Americans that stumbled me. They had the keys. My buddy and I, we found them, see. We got the keys to the safe. We're the only ones who can open it. Oh, alone you'll never make it. But I could help. Yes? Help out. I'll convince Heraclio to attack Lobo, for which I'll expect a decent percentage. Well, certainly. Uh, we divide with Heraclio, and then with you, and... And then what's left for us? Elaine, don't be upset. You'll have your percentage. Look here, do you want to be noble? Okay, but what's mine is mine. Excuse me, senorita, but there's somebody in this world who has no one to look after them but me. It takes money. Who's that? <laughs> I, Luca. Well, you agree? Calm Can down, you? calm down, you two. Everybody will be rich. In the confusion, we pick up the prize, pull out of there, nobody's the wiser. That's ah. real prize. <laughs> now go along. Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Well, look at this. Oh. I'm sure Heraclio is going to be happy to hear about this, eh? <laughs> Looks like he's got a traitor to Keep moving, with. junkies. For this, the chief is going oh. to make us general. How are you, my boys? My respect, dear lady. Well, looks like I arrived in time. Mademoiselle? Gentlemen. Muchas gracias. <laughs> hey, why the devil are you here? And where the devil did you come from, huh? That's the third time you've asked me that question. Now listen to me, all of you. In a few minutes, they'll all be here to investigate the shots. It'd be far better if they don't find either you or me. Gentlemen, you will say that those two assaulted you with the express intention of uh, violating you, if you'll forgive my boldness. Well, if you say so. No, you must say so. In the struggle, you got hold of the pistol of one of them. Who was taking off his pants? 
<laughs> you must be out of your head. You're speaking to a real lady. Shh, they're coming. Get going. I'm sure you'll make them understand. Elaine. Heraclio. Heraclio, I killed those two men when they tried to attack me. I was lucky. Me, you only punched in the stomach and the face. Forget it. Come on. Like you hate the savages. Life here is full of danger, adventure. You would be happy here. We would be free as the wind and wander like birds over the earth. As the vulture lobo makes off with all the gold. What's that? Just what I said. While you're out fighting for the revolution, he'll just keep all the gold, and then he'll get elected minister of the treasury. That's just ridiculous. Lobo's a great revolutionary. That Lobo's a bandit, darling. And you're just a stupid sentimentalist. Mm. Oh, I'm a fool to let myself love you, because otherwise... Because otherwise what? Otherwise, I'd be with El Lobo, loaded with gold, resplendent like Montezuma. That's right. He made the proposition, you know. Who? Montezuma? No, El Lobo. He said, Chica. Stay with me, because when that fish, Heraclio, returns to Zapata, I open the safe and we both get all the gold. He said that fish, Heraclio? That's right. His very words. Fish. How come he can open this safe? When we weren't able to do it with the cannon. With the keys, of course, idiot. I even saw them. I'll murder him. With my bare hands, I'll strangle him. A big fat traitor. Garcia, Manuel, mount your horses. We ride against the Lobo. <laughs>
seems to be a cricket out there. No, he's not a cricket. It's a cicada. He can't sleep. On second thought, it's a snake, amigo. I'm sure of it. It is a snake. No, that's not right either. It's a fuse, that's it. Bueno, you're absolutely right. Hey, oh, hey, Hello there. What a surprise. Save your jokes. I'll wait for you right in back of the church with the horses. Huh. Come on. Hey, you're not in command here just because she's watching you. Then who's in command? It's only fair if we're both in charge. It's fair, but I take my own order. And I too.
Double! Coward, where are you hiding? Meet again, my friend. Will you be good enough to get off your horses and come forward? Your pistol won't help you. I'm here in an official but friendly capacity. They're pretty words. Looks like simple robbery to me. Don't be absurd, my good man. How can I steal gold from you, who stole it from people who stole it? Then what the devil do you want with us? Mademoiselle? Good news, gentlemen. I've come to present you with a reward. One thousand dollars for having gallantly recovered the gold which belongs to the Colt Weapons Company. Unworthily represented by yours truly, Major Samuel Lee Barrett of the United States Army. What a couple of stupid idiots we are. No wonder he was so anxious to help us. Duty is duty. Well, Billy, you couldn't just say you, you never found the gold. Yeah, since the table is late for three, it can be late for four. Huh? You wouldn't by any chance be trying to bribe a government official, would you? Who, no. Me? What? He said that. Well, I wouldn't say anything. That. <laughs> fine, fine. Then shall we start what? loading the sacks of gold into my car over there? Well, yes, senor. Very right away, good. senor. <laughs> Four, eight, and twelve. There, all accounted for. Many thanks from me and from the Colt Corporation. Mademoiselle, I would like to offer you a ride in my car, but um, I see you're already in excellent company. I hope to see you all again. Goodbye. Here, I see. Weren't you going back to the United States? That's right. I'm on my way right now. Who is that girl there? She's my fiancée. She was kidnapped by the bandits, and I just rescued her. 
I wonder if you happen to meet with this man. He drives a red car. <laughs> yeah, he's Major Lee Barrett of the United States Army. <laughs> Not him. He's a notorious Yankee adventurer named Elias McPherson, who represents himself as Barrett. Where'd you see him last? I never saw him. She didn't. She was sleeping. <laughs> he went that away. No, that away. <laughs> when was that? Oh, <laughs> today. <laughs> Gracias. Vamos, muchacho. So, he played us for idiots. I think perhaps we've got an ace up our sleeves. It's up to us to catch him and make the rat divide the money with us. I agree. It's the least he can do. Sure. But look out, he's tricky. Take that, Pat. It's faster. Help! <laughs> Help! Exceeding the speed limit? No, you are violating the laws of the country. A good try, that. Yes, nobody won his hand. <laughs> a pity, you know, he's not a bad kid. What'll happen, do you think? Prison until they hear the case. I think we might attack the troops now. You're mad. Too many. But we'll watch from a distance. Find a stream and fill the canteens. Yeah, yeah. Is it difficult to drive a car? One of these days, I'll teach you how. Now, good morning, soldier. <laughs> Your profession's a real rough one, huh? Poor fellow. <laughs> no time off, no vacation. <laughs> Why don't we help him out? You're right. <laughs> sure, let's. <laughs> Captain, the peasants have revolted. They burned the barracks and killed the soldiers. The whole area is in the hands of the rebels, led by Zapata. And you are rushing off where? To the garrison at Watapec to inform the army. With your permission, Captain. I'd be proud if I could shout out, Viva Zapata! Viva Zapata? Yes, Viva Zapata. Viva Zapata. Viva Zapata! Men! If you want your families to be proud of you, then join in with the revolution and shout, Viva da Pata! Be soldiers and fight for our Mexico. Go and join the revolutionaries and shout, Viva da Pata! Viva da Pata! Viva da Pata! Drive on. What's the meaning of this, amigos? Sorry that we must take your horses. This time the revolution, it must succeed. Get down. We know this is a robbery, but we have no other choice. Stop it! Keep your hands off, do you hear? How dare you? Let her alone! Adios, senor. Forgive the robbery, eh? Well. 
¡Vámonos! It was going so well. They're heading for the desert alone, Brown and the officers. It would have been child's play. Can't stop them without guns. So we're caught in a revolution. Uh -huh. There's one more chance. Let's do what we can with it. <sighs> Look here, Captain. I have an idea. You and I split up the money between us. And I'll take you along with me to the United States. Okay? I have friends at the border. What do you say? Stop the car. Huh? Take off your clothes. Are you serious? I'm afraid you have the wrong idea about me. It's the right idea, I'm sure. I learned it from you. Your clothes and your gold are all that I need. Undress. Old grandfather always told me never to give advice to strangers. And next time, I won't forget it. Forget it. There won't be a next time, my friend. Just a moment. Hold on. What good would it do you to kill me? You don't even know how to drive this car. Hey, you! Brown, Barrett, McPherson, or whatever the hell your name is. Stop acting the big shot and return the gold you stole from us. I'm afraid you'll have to come and get it yourself. And I'm not kidding. Oh, give me that pistol. I take care of that rat. <laughs> I'm afraid I missed. <laughs> give it to me. There are only two bullets left. Hey, Brown. Let us have the gold, and my word of honor will let you go free. And the automobile. Huh? And the automobile, Brown. Listen. Offer him back the reward. You get back all the reward money, Brown. Oh, why should we? That we take. <laughs> Damn it. Only two bullets left. We won't make it through tomorrow. Got a better idea. Maybe he'll accept the good offer, say, a fourth. Ah. Well, still leaves plenty for us, doesn't it? Okay, try it. Hey, Brown. Say we divide it four ways. Why are you suddenly so generous? I'm the one to make the deals. After all, I have the gold. Tell you what I'll do with you, my friends. I'll give you another thousand dollars. Now, doesn't that strike you as a reasonable idea? Why, you now, murder the rat. <laughs> Fool, give me that pistol now. Listen, we've got to use our heads, see? You go over there and Brown will see you. In the meantime, I'll be here to take a shot at him. Doc, yeah. got him, okay? Come on. <laughs> you don't trust me? Yeah, but I'd better do it. Give me the gun. Better not miss. Take care, huh? out of bullets, or he would have shot back. I think you're wrong. You want to see? Uh. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> that did it. Not one bullet left. That did it. Not one bullet left. Something's got to be done, because when night comes, he'll be off. Do you have any bright idea? Huh? <laughs> we'll think of something. You take it easy, huh? <laughs> Listen, Gringo. Once my brother was in a similar mess like this, he saved himself by using a girl as a shield. <laughs> well? Huh? 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 You mad? I wouldn't do anything like that. No, we've got to bluff it.
Hold it, Gringo, or I'll shoot you. Yeah, I'll shoot him. For the last time, Gringo, don't come any closer. Come on out, coward, and fight like a man. Don't shoot me. I surrender. Oh. Oh. Come on down. It's all over. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you frightened the hell out of me. I may be a thief, but I'm also a gentleman. Now, let's get rid of this body. Are you ready? Here we go. Pull. Pull. Okay, we'll divide it in four. No, no, I mean, in three, the couple counts as one. Don't be ridiculous. The girl gets an equal share. After all, she cooperated. Ask Mr. Brown, huh? Okay, sir, do we divide into four shares? Or three? In four shares, of course. One for you. One for you. One for me. And one for you. One for you. One for you. And one for me. <laughs> One for you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> hey, just a minute. You wouldn't leave us here in the middle of the desert without any horses or any arms. Well, at least give us a lift to the first village. Yeah. All right, get in. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's get in this thing. <laughs> The starter's broken. You'll have to push. All the way to the village? No, only a few yards until the motor starts up. <laughs> uh, let's push. Okay, let's go. <laughs> push. Stop! Hey, stop! Where are you going? Get around! Stop! Do you hear? Elaine, you can't leave us like that. I have to go with this one. But, baby, you can't. I love you. Sorry, but he's my husband, Gringo. Hey. Gringo. <laughs> Look here, amigo. There are plenty of pretty girls still in the world, amigo. <laughs> Listen, Gringo. <laughs> in Honduras, <laughs> I know a mine of platinum. <laughs> Don't, Gringo, wait. We'll be rich. I swear it. In six months, we'll be rich. Listen to me! 